Welcome back to Boat Week on the RC Sailors. This is likely gonna be the final video of Boat Week, but I'm excited because we finally have something that has actual power underneath the hood. <laughs> Everything this week has been pretty slow, and I'll tell you guys, it has been hard to find new boats for the channel for Boat Week, but this time we're finally looking at a brushless system that is water-cooled. We're gonna be running on 3S with an actual hobby-grade battery, XT60 plug. This is water-cooled, as I said, where the water is gonna get sucked up back here through this metal lined hose we have actual trim tabs we even have lights on this boat so I'm excited to power it on and see how fast it actually goes we ought to get a rooster tail on this some kayakers getting out on the lake I guarantee I could pull one of them out to the middle of the lake with the power that this little guy has let's put it in the water and see how it does I'm not sure if this is gonna be an issue or not but there's no there's a battery tray clearly that's where it's supposed to go but there's no strap in here, and this might be one of the first boats I've had that goes this fast. That was a cool little startup. Well, that's good. But, you know, this might hold it on. I mean, this could be enough to actually keep the battery without moving too much, but I'm gonna put some foam padding in there for sure. That's a good locking system. This feels like a really nice high quality boat. I'm just a little concerned about that battery bouncing around in there, but it does feel like it's not gonna go anywhere. It's just a little loose. So a foam pad would be very welcome. It's already on, usually brushless boats don't have to hit the water, but this one does. So we got our lights on. This one's not working until it touches water. So again, no throttle. Doesn't mean your boat is broken. I've had a lot of friends buy their first boat and tell me their boat's broken. I tell them, just let it touch water. Yeah, you were right. So let's see. This one might just be throttled. Yeah. Just enough throttle. Just punch the throttle and that rolls this one over. We finally have something that goes quick. <laughs> I like it already. I love the sound of a fast boat. Yes. We need trimmed up a little bit, but look at those tight turns. Oh my goodness. Comes with a USB charge cable. I will show you guys everything that actually comes with this boat at the end of the video. Let's trim that up. Steering trim. Get that thing running more straight. There we go. And I will just go crazy on the steering to try to flip this thing at full throttle. It is not wanting to roll over, but if it did, we have self riding. I think this radio, I'm pretty sure, does have telemetry. So if our battery gets low, we should get some beeps out of that radio. And we have a button for lighting, so let's bring it in nice and slow and show you guys the on off for the lights. Here we go. Off. Yes. Oh, oh, that was weird. <laughs> That was really weird. I pressed that button. And there it is. <laughs> um, I'm pushing lighting. I'm pushing the lighting button. And what it's doing is doing like a dance. That's so weird. It is not for the lighting. I push it and it just... Oh, you know what that is? <laughs> what is Let it? me show you. Come here. It shouldn't say lighting. <laughs> I know what it is. What is it? You'll see. It's like a... An extra power burst. Right, here we go. Watch. Lighting. Right? Watch the boat. Uh, uh, Rocks it over. It not lighting. Over. Not lighting. <laughs> Mislabeled. Cool self riding, though. lighting. It rhymes that close a, enough. That was a really good self riding. I mean, that was really well programmed. I'm glad you figured boat. that out. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Okay, so lights I'm, are just oops, on. I can't do that. The lights are just on. You better on. stop yeah. that, mister. Yeah, That's my job. Yours. I haven't Control. got to do it all week. A good one. <laughs> all right, Abby. Those famous bar nuts, yeah? There it is. Finally. Some good bar nuts. Guys, it's just been so challenging to find new boats. You know, I think that military boat that we did the last one on the channel. I think that was Pro Boat's only new release this year, and it's just been challenging. I don't know what to tell you. Just not very many new boats this year. I know there's a couple left, probably on Amazon and stuff that we haven't featured. I think Pro Boat made some V2 versions of boats. Like the recoil. But nothing major. Yeah, nothing new. Look at that. Very nice, Abby. Fast boats are always fun. Does this always. one have a, a rubber nose? Yes, it does. It's already installed on it when you get it. On it. 
has a boat stand. I'll show you guys the stuff that's included, but to me, the Pro Boat Scale boat is really fun and cool that it's so scale, but I think this is by far my favorite boat of the week just because I enjoy a good performance budget boat. <laughs> I thought Abby was ready to do the water test, but clearly she is still having fun. <laughs> Only fast boat of the week, Nate. We I know it. This I know it. You know, the first two boats, I loved the lights on the one. And then the jet boat was really cool too because it's perfect for a swimming pool where this one you would not want for a swimming pool at all. It's just too fast. All right, you ready? Yes. Do you want to try the self-riding thing just because it's so much fun? Sure. It's neat. I mean, you gotta reach here. In yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. You can just punch it if you want to, or you can just hit the button. Look at that. It flipped. Ain't it? <laughs> into the dock <laughs> cool. yeah the battery was my initial concern you guys remember i've never seen a boat at this speed without some type of strap holding the battery in so we're going to see how that held up we put the boat upside down three times and i love that it has the double protection from water it's just it feels super high quality because it is even the motor has this shield around it and remember it's water cooled the battery is still held in place, and I think that is so awesome. What I would like to do when I run this in the future, and this will probably make a reappearance on the channel because I really like this boat a lot. That's the included battery, yeah? That's the included battery, a 3S, really nice light. See, I told you it had telemetry. It <laughs> lost, when it loses connection, it'll beep like that, just to let you know it lost connection. But also, there's your, there's your boat stand. I can't get it. There's tools down there. there. And a spare prop. And there's the charger. Yes. Uh, telemetry is going to come through on that radio, so when your battery gets low, you know to bring it back into the dock. I think that's really cool. Adjustable trim tabs, both horizontal and vertical. I think that's an amazing little setup. This bow is awesome. I love those lights. I like the light on the front. Oh, and uh, water. There's not a drop inside. <laughs> we forgot. Not a drop. There's no water. Um, there's a plug on the back of the boat, too, which you guys can see on the inside of the boat. So if you did take on a ton of water, you would just push this rubber plug out the back Neat. and drain your boat. This is really, when it comes to boats that I think of for a good RC boat, just perfectly ideal conditions. And Abby may have a coupon code for this, too. Remember, the water gets sucked up through this straw in the back and then it shoots out the side here of the boat and you can see that on really sharp turns if you're turning right really sharp you can see the water shooting up out of the boat which is awesome guys this is linked in the description box below and i do highly recommend it personally it's my favorite boat of the week i do like the pro boat it's actually just sitting right back there nice awesome scale boat if that's your thing but if you just want a good boat experience this is it. Abby, what was your favorite? This one. Yeah, easy, right? Yes. And especially if you have a coupon code. So again, it's linked in the description box below. Using that link does help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. But the amazing thing is you might actually have a good deal down there too. So be sure to check it out. I want to say a massive thanks to God for getting us out here at the lake on this beautiful day. Just blessing us with this opportunity to share this experience with you guys. And also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. Guys, if you're into RC boats, and I know you are because you're watching this video, we'll have a hand-picked video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.